square. So I'm going to plot them for us. Here is negative 4, 2, so there's A. Here is 1, 4, so that's B. Here's 3, negative 1, so that's C. And here's negative 2, negative 3, and that's D. So in order for them to be a square, squares have right angles. So I need to prove that this is a right angle, that this is a right angle, that this is a right angle, and that this is a right angle. I need to prove that. So to prove that it's a square, we need to prove that the angles are right angles and that the lengths are all the same. Because for it to be a square, all the sides have to have the same lengths, which means the distance of every single one of those lines has to be the same. To be a square, all the sides have the same length and the angles are 90 degrees. But to prove right angles, we need the slopes. So I'm going to find the slopes of AB and AD. So AB... So there's the points for A and B. So it's um, change in Y, so 4 minus 2 over 1 minus negative 4, which gives me 2 fifths. There's AD. So that's change in Y, negative 3 minus 2, and negative 2 minus negative 4, which gives me negative 5 over 2. They are opposites. They are reciprocals. So AB and AD, that is a 90 degree angle. Since these are opposite reciprocals, then these are perpendicular, which also means they are right angles. So now check the length of AB and AD. Okay, so the distance of AB, there's A and B, so that is 1 minus negative 4. That is 4 minus 2. So 1 minus a negative 4 is 25, because it's 5 squared. 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4, so I get square root of 29. And now AD, I need to do it for. So negative 2 minus negative 4, negative 3 minus negative 2. So plus a positive, so that gives me a 2. That gives me a negative 5. 2 squared is 4. Negative 5 squared is 25. Square root of 29. Since they are the same length and they have right angles, they are square. That's correct because they're both the same, um, same lengths, and they have a right angle as well. Um, I didn't need to do it for every single side length because if I wanted to, I could cut that into two triangles, which would make the triangles equivalent um, to each other as well with side angle side. But anyway, the point is by proving that two sides are the same length, then the other two um, across from it would have to be the same length as well. And then uh, by proving that the angle between there is right, that means the other angles would also have to be right angles as well. So to prove now that point C is on the perpendicular bisector of AB, there is negative 4, um, negative 3, here is 6, 1, and 5, um, negative 11. So we want to prove, um, uh, this is a different way to go about this. Uh, first, we can find the midpoint um, if we wanted to. So I'm going to take AB and find the midpoints. This is a different way than we did it in the book. In the book, you could just say that BC equals AC, and if they both equal each other, then you're good to go. But try it out a different way. Find the midpoint. Negative 4 plus 6 and divide by 2. Negative 3 plus 1 and divide by 2. So that adds up to be 2 over 2. That adds up to be a negative 2 over 2. So you get 1, negative 1. The point is, right there is going to be the middle of the line. Over 1, down 1. Right there, middle of the line. Okay, so now that's the middle of the line, we have to prove that that crosses right there. Since we found the bisector, but now we need to prove that the lines are perpendicular. So we need to find the slope of AB and the slope of CM. If the slopes are opposites, then they're perpendicular. So there's AB, there's CM, so we're going to find the slope of each. X1, Y1, X2, and Y2. X1, Y1, X2, and Y2, and there's the slope formula. So 1 minus negative 3, 6 minus negative 4. 1 minus is like... Uh, negative 3 is like saying plus, so that's a 4, that's a 10, so 4 tenths, that's 2 fifths. Um, over here, negative 1 minus negative 11, 1 minus 5, so plus, plus, that gives me 10 
over negative 4, which is negative 5 over 2. They are opposites, and they are reciprocals, which means it is a perpendicular bisector. Uh, they are opposite reciprocals, so they are perpendicular, and it has a bisector, thus C is a perpendicular bisector. Alright, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to let me know.